Europe's regulators continue to take on big tech. Apple has become the fourth U.S. tech giant to be hit by such probes. The German Federal Cartel Office says a key focus of the investigation will be the operation of the App Store. It says in many cases it empowers Apple to have an influence on the business activities of third parties. The Antitrust Authority recently opened similar investigations against Amazon, Google and Facebook under a new law. Andreas Mundt is the president of the Federal Cartel Office here in Germany. Welcome to the program. How easy is it to change the competitive dynamic now, years after Apple was apparently allowed to accumulate all this market power? Yeah, I mean, of course, it's a complex task. I mean, we are in the digital uh, economy for a couple of years already, uh, and we are very happy that we have, have obtained some new regulation over here in Germany that came into force at the beginning of 2021. And we try now to make use of these new tools and new instruments uh, with regard to, to the tech giants. It will remain complex. But on the other hand, I do believe that with the new instruments, um, our life will, m might get somewhat easier uh, to tackle the big tech uh, companies um, with regard to their competitive behavior. So regulatory instruments have improved, if I understand what you're saying. But if you do find that Apple's ecosystem of digital products across, across markets is anti-competitive, what will you do? Well, I think this is uh, really the first step now. Um, the new regulation has a two-step approach. The, the first step, and this is the one we are taking now, is to designate Apple uh, to have a paramount significance for, for competition across markets. Once um, Apple is designated that way or any other company, it is easier uh, to prohibit certain uh, dues uh, or to, 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 uh, to uh, enforce certain do's and don'ts against, uh, against the company. Um, what we will try to do with all the tech giants uh, is that we try to identify anti-competitive behavior or maybe even more important, anti-competitive elements in the business case of these companies um, and uh, to bring that to an end because we think then markets might be contestable again, and we can protect consumers, of course, from anti-competitive behavior of these companies. Mr. Munt, that sounds a little bit like putting the genie back into the bottle. Is that at all possible? <laughs> Oh, I firmly believe it is. I mean, if you look if you look into the past and see what competition agencies have already done in this area, uh, then I think it is also it is very convincing in a way. I mean, think of the proceeding that we have had here against Amazon back in 2019, uh, and since 2019. Um, Amazon uh, has to uh, give a reason for termination contracts uh, with the sellers. Uh, they have, uh, they cannot do that from one day, day to another. Um, there must be a certain delay in, in ending the contract. Um, sellers, and that is very important, have the right uh, for civil claims here in Germany before German courts and not uh, before Luxembourg any uh, Luxembourg courts anymore and uh, even even more important maybe Amazon is liable towards the seller so you see we can really change terms and conditions of these companies and give more rights to those um, who, who have to work with these companies. Or think of the, the Facebook case uh, that we are hopefully bringing to a good end with the help of the courts, um, where we have asked uh, Facebook for an internal divestiture of the data they hold, um, w which has a huge impact maybe on the dominance of Facebook. So I do believe there are many means with regard to competition law and regulation that we have right now. And if we make good use of it, um, it's maybe it's maybe not that far reaching than, than you said, uh, putting the genie back into the bottle. It's just establishing a healthy competition environment in this area. We have to start somewhere. Andreas Mund is the president of the Federal Cartel Office. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much and take care.